morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. Hope you have a lot of fun plans for this weekend. I, my name is Kate, and I'm from Oco Ranch. Today, I thought long and hard about what the video would be on, and I decided to go with one of my most asked questions, which is, how much does it cost to keep a horse? So to summarize the answer to your question, um, it would be, they cost everything. They cost your soul, your life, your social relationships and friendships. Um, Poppy. That's my pig. Um, <laughs> and when people say that buying the horse is the cheapest part, they are not kidding about that. Um, so anyhow, there's like a few main variables that really like change the, the cost of having a horse. One is your location. So this could be like your general location. So like where in the United States you live or in the world. And then it could be like your micro location. So like what is your pastures like? Do you just have a dry paddock? Do you have you know, lush green pasture for acres and acres. So that all depends. And also your cost of living in your area. So I know like here, hay is pretty cheap compared to like way out west. They're paying like four times as much as I do here, but their cost of living is much different. Um, it also depends on the time of year. So typically it costs a lot more to feed horses in the winter than it does in the summer. And then it also depends on the specific horse that you're dealing with. Um, you could have a young horse, an old horse, you could have a horse that just lounges around all day, you could have one that's competing every single day. Um, those things are really going to make a difference as to how much grain feed that horse needs. Um, and last is probably the quality of supplies. So there's a way, there's different ways to keep horses. You can keep horses super cheap and, you know, throw them out in the field with a cheap brown bale and say good luck see you in six months or you can do what i do and be a slave to them every day <laughs> twice a day um so there are different ways to go about it um and there's pros and cons to both um typically when you take a more lackadaisical approach to taking care of horses it tends to catch up with you in the long run with like expensive feed bill or ex expensive vet bills um and just issues down the road. So I like to be safe, more safe than sorry, and do it my way. <laughs> the gang's all here. <laughs> Everybody came far and wide. <laughs> Go ahead, get this from the video. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday. <laughs> so for this video, we're going to be using my horses and my farm as the example. So I have two mares right now. I have Aruna and Evie. Aruna is a 12-year-old Appaloosa mare. And uh, Evie is a early 20-ish or so quarter horse thoroughbred mix mare. Um, she got little something of everything in her according to her DNA panel. Um, Aruna pretty much stays fat on air, whereas Evie needs a little extra, like, calories through grain and supplements. Um, as far as my farm goes, we have 30 acres here. Um, about four of it is fenced in as pasture, and then I have a dry lot, which they stay in during the winter, so they don't destroy the field, um, while it's muddy. And... Um, okay, so... Never do that again. <laughs> here is not the greatest um it's pretty rocky and acidic um we cleared a lot of pine trees to make our pastures so we're still kind of just like just fixing the soil adding to it um to get it up to speed and it hasn't like improved a ton since we bought the place a couple years ago um but we're working on that and as far as cost of living goes here we're in western pennsylvania about 45 minutes outside of pittsburgh and according to the statistics that i found today on google <laughs> Pennsylvania is ranked 27th in the list of highest and lowest costs of living across the United States. So we kind of fall in the middle there. It's not like super expensive to live here and it's not like super, super cheap either. All right, let's get talking about prices for things horse related. Come here, Billy. Come here. Say hello to everybody. Say, I'm expensive too. <laughs> Um, okay, and so let's talk about prices. So hay. Um, here in Western PA, hay runs about $5 a bale. It can range from, I've seen it at $3, I've seen it at $8, and if you're dealing with like 
something like alfalfa, it's way up higher. I'm talking about just like your general grass hay. Um, so you're looking at $5 a bale. As far as grain, grain can range to, um, I, I feed Buckeye Safe and Easy Performance, and it yeah. earns me about $24 a bag. Um, yeah. Again, it all depends on the quality of what yeah. you want to buy. If you buy a cheaper yeah. grain, <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you buy a cheaper grain, it could be like 16 bucks a bag. If you want to buy something like more expensive, it could be 30 um, Farrier costs, uh, it's typically around 35 to $40. Um, per horse per visit for a farrier in this area. Um, most people, well, for, for bit, just a barefoot trim. If you're talking about shoes and whatnot, you're looking at least a hundred dollars, if not more, for like a full set. Um, and the farrier comes at least like usually every six to eight weeks. So if we round it up and said every two months, that's the cost breakdown we'll be looking at here shortly. Um, additionally, we have vet costs. So just your annual vet visit. Not for emergencies, nothing like that, just for your shots. Um, you're usually looking about like $100 a horse. Again, depending on what you get. Oh my guard dog. <laughs> um, again, depending on what you decide to get for your horse. I usually get like everything that's reasonable to get here. Um, excuse me, sir. Don't, don't mess with this boy. I'm telling you, you don't. Stanley, come here. Um... Other than that, so like I said, that is usually like $100 a horse per year, but horses spend their whole lives pretty much trying to severely injure or kill themselves. So emergency vet bills, you got to have money saved up for that. Like it's not if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen because it will and it's going to be the worst time. It's going to be a Monday morning when you're about to head to work and you already had 10 things go wrong. The, that morning, like, that's when something's going to, you know, hit the fan. Um, so, yeah, make sure you have money set aside for that because that's not going to fall into this general upkeep um, scenario. Um, outside of that, I mean, you're looking at supplements, which mostly, like, tend to be optional. So, um, except for, like, things like salt and mineral blocks, you definitely need to have those. Um, but some people put their horses on, like, crazy, like, like you know, hoof this and hair and you can go like crazy with it if you want um me i don't tend to go crazy with it evie gets a little bit extra in the winter mostly um she gets oil in her feed and she gets some applesauce sometimes because she sometimes is like doesn't want to eat that much so we just put her on that um and they each get a pinch of salt in their food but again table salt super cheap you can get like a can of it for like 99 cents um, water purposes, here we have a well and we also have a rainwater collection system, which is, I highly recommend it. It's not legal everywhere though. <laughs> it is legal in Pennsylvania. <laughs> Even if it wasn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> She's not kidding. <laughs> Seriously, it's great. Um, I'm gonna have a video about that soon, but it's super convenient and it does work. Like I, I use it year round. And you can put um, fish on it. So it's free and we have fish, pet fish. Yep. Man. We're also building a pond out back right now. Yes. More pet fish. <laughs> <laughs> You're crazy. So they have water. My water, free. We have a well. If we did run a water line up to the house, also free. If you have city water, which we did, which we did have at my parents' house and I have my horses there, not free. So when you leave the hose on all day long, <laughs> me, <laughs> you run that Shout out to mom and dad. Shout out to mom and dad for paying for that water. <laughs> Those 10 times I left it on. <laughs> yeah, that's the story for another day. Um, so anyhow, water bill is something to take in, into consideration. Mine is zero. Um, and lastly is betting. So again, flexible um, on what people do. Me, I use both flake, pine flake bedding and pellet of bedding. The combination seems to work really well. The pellets like soak up the urine and the wetness and the pellets are like, or in the shavings are like really nice to sift through for poop. Um, typically, like, depending on where you go, you can get a bag of shavings for, like, $6. I see it's, like, up to seven fifty some places now, unfortunately. Pelleted bedding runs about the same. I'd probably say, like, 5 or $6 a bag. Um, 
again, if you haven't seen my TikTok video on tractor supply feed bill hacks, check it out. Oak, Oak Hill Ranch at Oak Hill Ranch on TikTok and Instagram. The Oak Hill Ranch on Instagram because Oak Hill Ranch is not available. <laughs> Anyhow, bedding, you usually looking at in the winter time, I usually go through like a bag of flake bedding and pellet bedding per horse per week. So, you know, working with that. But some people, they use different things and some people don't sell their horses at all. So again, all depends on what you prefer. And so let's head in the house because first off, it's getting dark and second off, it's getting cold. And third off, Philly is not having it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to head in the house and I'm going to show you the little side-by-side -side comparison sheet that I came up detailing all the prices and break it down per month and then what it costs yearly to own a horse. Can't wait. See you so in let's go. All right, hey guys, I'm back inside and warmed up and because we were freezing to death. Um, so anyhow, so I'm gonna show you a little cost sheet I put together. I split it into two um, categories. So one is the winter cost per horse and then one is the summer cost per horse. And at the end, I'll show you what, you know, combining those is what it is for the year. Um, so I'm gonna flip this around and show you guys okay like i was telling you guys here is a breakdown of the cost for my day-to-day -day care of my two horses um this is broken down for just one horse though um and this is minus like my barn that i built pasture stalls our mortgage for having the farm anything like that this is just basic day-to-day -day necessities um so we started i started with hay um in the winter we're usually averaging about one bale a day per horse. So, I mean, sometimes it's less, sometimes it's like three quarters of a bale. It just all kind of depends. Um, but just for a rough estimate, I put a bale. Um, so that's come to about $5 a day. Um, at $5 a day, say on average there's 30 days in a month, that would bring you to $150 per month. And this situation is in a dry lot only. So my horses are not on out on pasture during the winter. Um, they stay in the dry lot. I mean, they do go out in the pasture to run around every once in a while, but primarily they're eating hay all winter. Um, so grain. So typically I'm buying three bags of grain per month total um, for the horses. So I just averaged it out to one and a half bags, 75 pounds per month per horse. At one bag, I'm paying $24 and $24 times one and a half bags is about $36 a month per horse. Water, like we discussed, I have a well and rainwater collection system, so we're not paying anything for our water. Supplements, um, canola oil, salt, and just other trace minerals that I feed, all combined, we're looking at about $20 a month. Um, and like I said, it, you know, that's flexible, but that's pretty much what I'm estimated at. Um, bedding, like I was discussing, I'm usually using about one bag of pine flakes and one bag of pelleted bedding per horse per week at roughly $5 each, which at this point in time, that's a conservative estimate. Um, they're kind of more expensive, but just rough estimate. We're looking at $5 each, um, $10 a week per horse total there's four weeks in a month we're looking at forty dollars a month in bedding for each horse satin please something's a little upset he's not having my attention um farrier like i said um if he comes about every two months or so i pay 35 dollars um for that each every two months and if we break that down it's about 18 dollars a month for hoof care um on average for just your annual vet visit you're looking at about $100 per horse per year, which if you divide that within, among those 12 months in a year, you're looking at about $8 a month. 
So if we add these all up, we are looking at a grand total of about $272 per month per horse in the winter. Um, and that's, like I said, not including like my barn, my ridiculous amount of manual physical labor that I do or anything like that. So let's move over to the summer one. So now we're looking at the summer costs of owning a horse. Um, they eat a lot less hay in the summer, mainly because they're out on pasture and they're not trying to keep their body temperature um, war high, warm, whatever you want to call it. Um, so on average, we're feeding about a half a bale or less, usually less per day per horse. So I average that out to be about 250 per day. And so for simplicity's sake, let's say they eat four bales a week. Um, four bales multiplied by four weeks in a month would be 16 bales per month per horse. 16 bales times that $5 each, that'd be $80 a month. And that's what we're looking at, $80 a month in hay in the summer. And like I said, this is on average pasture about half of the day. So I'll usually turn my horses out like when I get home from work and they might stay out all night long and then usually they come in, feed, and they stay in the dry lot during the day. Or more likely they stay in the barn with, in front of the fan. But um, they are consuming grass, not just hay all day. Grain, um, their grain consumption also drops off a good bit. Um, Evie, I keep her pretty steady, but Aruna definitely gets next to nothing. Um, so I'd say less than a bag per horse per month. So that would be about $24 a month per horse. Your, your farrier vet and supplements, that's going to be the same. So it's still that $46 a month. Water, same, free. Thank the Lord. Um, bedding, I don't use much at all because my horses are outside during the day or dur at night and then they stay um, usually just in the barn aisle way in front of the fan during the day. So honestly, I put a bag of bedding in there and it lasts me pretty much the whole summer. <laughs> um, so I'm putting zero for that. And that brings our total to about $150 per month per horse in the summer. So drum roll, please. Our annual total for keeping a horse is, so I did six months of winter costs, so 272 times six, and then six months of summer costs at 150 per month, and I mean, that can come and go. Um, we usually have more winter here than we have summer, but whatever. So I added these up. You're looking at right around $2,500 per horse per year in Pennsylvania. Kind of cheap, kind of not. All right, so your math lesson for the day is done. Go team. Um, so, but like I said, that's that math is only accounting for your daily stuff. Um, you're not including your mortgage if you're going to keep horses on your own property and buy your own farm. You're not accounting for the barn. You're not accounting for the wood to build the stalls in the barn and the tanks and the brushes and the saddles and the round pen and truck and the trailer because like god forbid there was an emergency and you have to haul your horse somewhere um you gotta take that into consideration and like where are you gonna ride you need to level off a spot you need to build an arena a round pen all this stuff you need to think about beforehand i thought to myself what if i paid myself ten dollars an hour every month taking care of these horses, which my work's definitely worth more than $10, $10 an hour. But if I did, say I $10 an hour, I take care of my horses for two hours every day, um, which that's not even, I definitely spend more time doing stuff than that. But on average, say an hour in the morning and an hour at night, that'd be $20 a day. Um, $20 a day times 30 days in a month, you're looking at $600 a month and just labor at $10 an hour. So, uh, next time you think boarding barns are charging too much, just think about that. And I mean, that is for two horses. So like if I only had one horse, maybe it would take me half the time. So say $300 a month per horse in labor. That's still a lot of money. Um, but hey, I do this out of the love of my heart. 
I love these creatures that give me anxiety and distress. Don't call them creatures. Lives, lives and don't call them creatures, so I won't call them creatures. Um, these equines. <laughs> um, but anyhow, I love them and this is my passion in life and my hobby. So I do the work because I love them and I honestly love the farm work. If you don't like doing labor, this is not the hobby for you, like at all. Board your horse. Do yourself a favor and board because you having someone else do all the work is going to be a, a lifesaver because like this is not something that like to take lightly at all if you're considering getting a horse and keeping it at home um this is a twice a day every day no matter if you're sick if you break your leg if you you know if you've been out all night and you're tired like it doesn't matter we sometimes get home like every once in a while we might go to a concert or something like we went to recently we didn't get home to like 12 30 in the morning which like for me that's really um, but we didn't get home till 1230 and I did most of my barn chores before we even went and, <laughs> um, and I was literally, I, I was sleeping on the way home in the car and I still had to come in the house. Trevor went to bed and I had to go down the barn and do work for like 30 minutes. Um, but that's just life. That's what I chose and that's what I love to do. And yeah. So I'm glad you guys stuck around to listen. Um, if you were thinking about getting a horse, I hope this video helped you a lot. I know it would have helped me way back in the day when I started with these beautiful, majestic Creature. beasts. Creatures? <laughs> Not creatures, equines. Um, but anyhow, so I hope it helps. Um, horses are super awesome. I wouldn't trade them for the world, honestly. Um, but yeah, $2,500 a year plan on it for care. All right, everyone, that's all I got for today. I hope that was beneficial and I hope you got some valuable information out of it. Um, I know I would have appreciated it when I was younger and getting into horses, um, but hope you enjoyed and you subscribe to my channel and watch another video of mine. We're just, we're getting started here. I, I'm a little rusty, so like give me a little bit of time, but we're rolling with this. Every Saturday morning, Oak Hill Ranch, like, follow, subscribe, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, YouTube, everything. Thanks. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>